Now let us import this data onto our project in this video. For that we need to create a project. So let us go to the search and search for notebook. After typing note on the search bar, you will find this Jupyter notebook. If I open this, then Jupyter notebook server will be up and running on our web browser. So here I will navigate to the desktop where we have created a folder with a name project one. So this is the same folder which contains these two data that is hotel bookings and data dictionary. So I will create a new file right here in this same directory. So for that I will go right inside the project one inside here you can see a data folder. So here I will create a new Python file. So I will create a new notebook right here and this is my new Python file and I will give the name for it. Let us rename this notebook with a name machine learning hotel booking prediction. This is our project. You can give any name prediction. So now this is our project file name. Now if you go to the directory right here, you can see newly created file with a name ML hotel booking. So this is the same file that we created right here. Now in this video, let us import some of the libraries that we will require for this project. So first library is pandas. This library is for tasks related to data like data import, export the data and similarly manipulation of data. So just remember if you want to do anything that is related to data, we will use pandas library. Similarly, I will import numpy and this is for numerical tasks. And next I will import matplotlib and this library is for data visualization. And next one is Seaborn. And this library is for multidimensional plot. Like if you want to plot your data on higher dimension, we can use Seaborn. Not only that, we have so many things inside the Seaborn and as the course progress, we will explore it. Now for now, we have imported these four libraries. And now if I run it, then you can see we got no error, which means all of these libraries has been imported on our project. We will use only this four library throughout the course. So we did import it early in the project.